The bush rat, scientific name Rattus fuscopes, is the most common of Australia's 54 native rodent species. The majority of these are evolved from Asian rodents that reached Australia between 11 and 9 million years ago. Naturalists call this group the old endemics. But the bush rat is one of seven species that evolved from a later wave of Asian immigrants called the new endemics. They arrived between 3 and 4 million years ago. Bush rats are found primarily in the coastal regions of eastern and southern Australia. From North Queensland through New South Wales, Victoria and South Australia with populations in Western Australia as far north as Kalbarri. They prefer wetter forest, woodland and heath habitats with dense undergrowth. One of the mysteries of Australian natural history is that this common widespread species, known of course to the Aboriginal people, wasn't detected by a European naturalist until almost half a century after European settlement. The reason is probably that Europeans were fascinated by the unfamiliar marsupial animals they encountered, but the bush rat was, well, just a rat, and they failed to notice that this was a different, indigenous species. It took a famously sharp eye to pick the difference. It wasn't until March 1836 when HMS Beagle on the home run to England stopped for a few days in King George's Sound on the southern tip of Western Australia, that Charles Darwin himself captured a bush rat in a trap baited with cheese and recognised it as a new species. The formal scientific description of the bush rat, written by mammal specialist George R. Waterhouse and dated 1839, duly appeared in part two of Zoology of the Voyage of HMS Beagle, accompanied by this charming illustration. So what did Darwin notice? How do you tell the difference between the bush rat and other rats, and indeed, small marsupials commonly found within its range? It's most likely to be confused with the introduced black rat, scientific name Rattus rattus. The bush rat is a chunky little animal with a Roman nose and almost no neck compared to the black rat. It has small, neat ears, whereas the black rat has large ears that would cover the eyes if folded forward. The most easily recognised diagnostic feature is, however, the tail. The bush rat's tail is about the same length as its head and body, pinkish brown, almost free of hair, and with overlapping scales that give an obvious ringed appearance. As you can see here, the black rat's tail on the right is much longer than its head body length. Bush rats have a distinctly Roman nose, whereas black rats have a retrousse nose. And you can see here the difference between the bush rat's small, neat ears set well back and the black rat's much larger ears. And then there's the Australian swamp rat, Rattus lutreolus, found in thick vegetation along watercourses and in swamps, dune scrubs, grassland and sedgelands near the coast. These dark grey rats are larger than the bush rat, have smaller ears and tails that are shorter than their head body length. It would be hard to confuse the bush rat with the several species of antichinus, mostly insectivorous marsupials. These also have a short tail, but a mouse size with distinctly pointy conical snouts and large, wide-spaced, notched ears. Bush rats are almost completely nocturnal. 
They eat fruit, seeds, arthropods, fungi, plant tissues, and sometimes nectar from the inflorescences of shrubs like Banksia. They're preyed on by owls, dingoes, reptiles like pythons and goannas, and feral cats and foxes. During the day, they live in a shallow burrow leading to a nest chamber lined with grass and other vegetation. If you like this video, please hit that red subscribe button and then the bell icon and you'll be notified of new Wirong Lane videos.